Hello and welcome back to the Dory Woodman YouTube channel. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the Mitsubishi Ikadan. We've fitted a six kilowatt air source heat pump alongside a 210 litre pre-plumb cylinder for this existing home. Okay, so for this project, as we've said, is a retrofit. Okay, so it's existing building, used to have an oil boiler in place uh, with an oil tank. However, the boiler has actually been out of commission for several years and this family have had to deal without heating a hot water for that period of time. Now, they've been in a fortunate enough position to be able to get the Green Homes Grant and they feel very privileged that they were able then to be able to use that voucher to supply them with a new heating system, one that is far more sustainable and greener and an air source heat pump was the way forward for this particular project. Now we, as with every project we've done a full heat loss calculation so we measured wall to wall, ceiling to floor, window sizes, radiator sizes to come up with what you know what would be required for the heat requirement for this home and the six kilowatt Mitsubishi then seemed to be a no-brainer. With the pre-plumbed Mitsubishi hot water cylinder in place as well. This airing cupboard actually gives us you know, good space to work with. We've got one heating zone on here, so we've got a radiator system. We've set the um, heat curve to provide around about 45 to 50 degrees between those marks. Now we've turned it down to 45 at the moment, because it's quite mild. And we've given instruction of how we can slowly increment the flow temperature should the home start to feel a bit cooler, particularly when we get into the deeper, colder months. Uh, the reason we've done this is that um, the home is actually quite warm and it's well insulated. So what we want to do is try to minimise the amount of uh, heat output from the heat pump to increase the efficiency of that system. And obviously with the fuel crisis at the moment, we're in October 2021 and the energy prices are you know, scaling up. And people are obviously worried about how you know running costs are going to be to heat their homes and obviously making difficult choices along the way. But what we want to make sure is that they can maintain some form of heat in the home, obviously provide ample hot water for them and their family, um, without it incrementing too much on their you know energy bills. Previously, they were using electric radiators, um, electric showers, stuff like that. So you know they were using high energy outsources for you know, to be able to heat their home and to use a shower, for example. So what we're trying to do is bring that balance back in with the heat pump and um, take away the elements that were, that they were previously heating with and this hopefully offering and will offer a more efficient uh, way of heating their home. So with this system, as with all of the ones that we do fit, the Mitsubishi wireless controller, connected to Wi-Fi with the interface, meaning that we can communicate with the system via mail cloud. We can get access to that so we can remotely see what's happening with the heat pump itself, the energy reports, you know, how much heat and hot water is being provided. If there's any issues or anything that need tweaking along the way, we can look at that as well as Mitsubishi being able to offer that service as well. Um, everything's commissioned, up and running, and this will provide 100% of the heating and hot water demand for this property. Now previously in this cupboard, they used to have a vented hot water cylinder, which meant they had a cistern up in the loft for both their one small feed, feed and expansion tank, feeding the heat system and a larger cistern that was supplying the water for the hot water cylinder. Now we've obviously been able to remove those from the loft. This is now on a pressurized system. Now generally speaking, there is always a 15, at least a 15 mil supply for cold water main coming from maybe the kitchen utility or whatever that, um, that cold water main supply is going to be and it will run in through the airing cupboard 
and it will feed the tanks up in the loft. Now what we, what we have found is that that being a half inch or a 15 mil pipe um, will reduce the amount of flow that you'll be able to produce from the hot water side. So for example, if you're running a bath or a shower and then you flush a toilet or open another tap, because you're reducing the um, size of the supply coming into it with the 15 mil pipe, you'll get this differential of, of pressure and temperature again, so that you know, obviously when you flush a toilet, you may you know, overcompensate on taking more cold water, therefore leaving you a little bit hotter in the shower, for example. So what we ensure is that we will provide um, the right correct supply of a minimum of 22 mil cold water supply to the airing cupboard. That will help maintain those pressures by the time it goes through the pressure reducing valve, just to avoid some of those spikes and jumps. And obviously, if you're living in a sizable property, you might have to put something else in place, like a volumizer or an accumulator, for example. Again, with the Mitsubishi Ikidans, and this has got you know a reasonably small heating system, there's no requirement for a buffer tank. So you've literally just got your cylinder, you've got a couple of expansion vessels because it's a sealed and pressurized system to deal with the expansion. And it's got a small low loss header attached to the cylinder itself, um, which helps with the hydraulics. The heat pump will be able to, because of the volume of water within the system, it will be able to defrost the heat pump in the coldest of times when it starts to get very cold, with you, just by utilizing what's already in place without it detracting from you know, absorbing a lot of the hot water from the hot water cylinder, for example, or taking too much temperature out of the heating system. This will be working with a 45 degree flow temperature, for example, you'd be looking at a 3.8 um, COP, so coefficient of 3.8, um, which is basically 380% efficiency. So for every one unit of power you're putting in, you're getting about 3.8 back out now obviously that will vary depending on how cold it is outside and um, you know how warm you're having the temperature inside but the capabilities are there and we will often look at the seasonal coefficients so that you know overall throughout the whole period of the year is what you'd expect the system to be on an average um, and obviously at the very very coldest of times those efficiencies will slightly decrease in order to be able to produce enough heat and hot water temperature um, for the home Again, this is a great install from our Dory Woodman team. This month as well, we're in October. In just a few days, we've got the National ACR Heat Pump Awards up in Manchester, where we are finalists for the UK Heat Pump Install of the Year. Super excited to be involved with that, and we can't wait for the evening and um, to see what the outcomes are in all the categories. So thanks for watching. If you've got any further questions when it comes to the heat pump itself and Mitsubishi's, we've got other videos on our YouTube channel. Send in something of a comment, email us, you can contact us um, at info at doraywoodman.co.uk. You can follow us on Instagram, dore.woodman, um, and on our Insta uh, Facebook pages as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.